everyone. We are sending this to you by way of introduction and invitation to an international prayer initiative called the Ninth Hour Initiative. It is a, a prayer initiative for Israel we have been working on for some time. We have sensed that when Israel came to the end of its 70 year anniversary, which just happened in May, that there would be escalation of assault on, on Israel. That indeed has happened. In addition, after their elections in April, they were unable to form a coalition government. This puts Israel in an extremely vulnerable spot. So this is an initiative to call us as friends of Israel across the nations to rise up and to stand in the gap for a nation in distress. We, uh, Isaiah 60.10 says that the sons of foreigners shall build up your walls. This is the hour, this is the open door, this is the invitation, this is the time for us to stand up in the gap for Israel like never before. Well, what is the ninth hour and what, what's its importance? In scriptures, it is significant. It is the hour that Jesus died on the cross and the veil in the temple was rent. We believe as we focus on this ninth hour initiative that it will be um, also a pathway, uh, a breakthrough for the advance of the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to go into nations, for the eyes and ears of people to be unstopped and their veils to be rent to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. It is also a time of miracles. It was a time when Peter and John performed the first miracle after uh, Pentecost, where they went to the synagogue and healed the lame man. It is also the time of great kingdom advance. It was the hour when the angel appeared to Cornelius and said, your prayers have been answered. Wouldn't we all love to hear that from heaven? Well, Cornelius heard it and strategy of heaven came down for him to walk out what he had been praying for. And we believe as we focus on this ninth hour that that indeed will happen to us. The um, ninth hour is an initiative to pray specifically for Israel for three things. One is their salvation. Two is for their strength, for the strength of the laborers being sent into the harvest fields, for their provision and for their equipping, and for the security of Israel's border. We believe that this is not the time for Israel's destruction. It is time for their salvation, and thus we are calling forth this ninth hour initiative. Well, how do we walk it out? We are simply asking people to pray daily for the salvation, for the strength and security of Israel. Some are putting, are putting on alar alarms on their watches to pray at three o'clock. It doesn't have to be that stiff, but we do want to train our fingers for battle and our hands for war in praying and disciplining ourselves to pray specifically for Israel for those three issues. And what is our faith expectation of this? Is that it will ignite a global awakening of praying for Israel that we will build up the spiritual walls of, of Israel, of Jerusalem, like Isaiah 62, 6 prophesies, and that it will inspire not only revelation, but connection across the nations with Israel um, for, in preparation for the times ahead. We will have a team in Israel uh, that will be communicating with us throughout this initiative. We encourage you to go ahead and look on www.theglobalwatch.com website. There is a whole lot more information there. There are scriptures to back up the three areas that we're talking about, the salvation, strength, and security of Israel. Um, and there is also flyers on, online that you can give out to your churches, to your friends, to encourage them to participate. We believe that this is a significant initiative and invite you into the process. We believe it is a step forward into what Isaiah uh, 52, eight promises. Your watchmen shall raise up their voices. They shall sing together and they shall see eye to eye when the Lord brings back Zion. We believe God is watching over his word to perform it. And this is one of the steps that Jesus is calling us to in preparation for his return and his rule and reign on earth. We invite you to join with this initiative. Thank you for your time and God bless. Shalom.